Hey, good morning. Austin here, cracking junk removal. Tri Cities number one, top choice for junk removal and home cleanouts. So, if you're new to the channel, this is your first time here, welcome. Uh, go ahead and please consider subscribing. It helps the channel out. Go ahead and hit the like and uh, leave a comment down below. But today we're at a job uh, we actually quoted a few weeks ago. So, the customer has a lot of stuff to clean out from her garage and her home. So, I'll swing you guys around here in just a minute and show you. But uh, first, I got to Go ahead and uh, meet with the customer and uh, go over the job if it's been again a couple of weeks. Uh, I've been pretty busy. I was out of town on vacations. Went down to South Florida uh, for a little bit for about a week or so. So it was nice to get away, relax with the family. Had some fun at the beach and the pool. And uh, just came back uh, the other night. And uh, had to take my son to the, to the uh, doctor today. He had some problems with the previous illness he had. I had a flat tire I had to fix. I think I made a community post about that not too long ago. And uh, as I was in, uh, getting that done, I noticed I had a nail in another tire, so luckily we were able to uh, plug and patch that one. But the uh, other one was right on the sidewall, so we weren't able to fix it. So uh, came back to a lot of uh, busyness, a lot of hecticness, but that's what happens in this job. So we're going to go ahead and meet with the customer here. All right, so over here, the customer wants to keep the ladder keep the wheelbarrow and keep this little wooden toolbox. Uh, everything else we're gonna go ahead and take. So it looks like there's a lot of scrap metal here, so we'll be able to recycle that. Try to keep as much out of the landfill as possible. And then uh, in the garage, we've got this really cool jukebox. Very heavy, uh, customer said it works. I don't know if it does or not. I've had to test it, but very heavy. So we may have to take it apart or just winch it onto a trailer. Uh, I got this bench to take along with tire and some of this trash you can see here. The customer wants to keep this along with a lot of these tools you see on the wall, but we were able to score these really cool fishing rods and reels, so we're pretty excited about that. Uh, over here, the customer wants to keep this little green cart. Uh, it comes in handy when you're working around the yard, but a lot of this stuff, as you can see, uh, is trash. You know, always open up stuff you're going through. You never know what you'll find. All right, all this stuff underneath this workbench and all the items on top of the bench and around it, we're gonna take those items, except for anything that's hazardous. So over here, again, all this is trash. Uh, looks like we got some copper. Uh, customer wants all this gone, except for this vintage wash bin she wants to keep, uh, which is pretty cool. So you can see there's the drain plugs for it. Um, and then over here, most of the stuff on the wall, customer wants to keep, so nothing to take there. But over here in the corner, we got this wiring and these reels to remove. Um, and then some of this loose trash on the ground. Uh, a lot of this stuff is staying. Uh, we got a little uh, blade sharpener for a chainsaw. The customer wants to keep that. All right, all this is staying. The only thing we're really removing from here is these loose bits of uh, scrap metal. Uh, we got the deck to a riding lawnmower we're gonna go ahead and take. Customer doesn't want it. Uh, we got this scrap metal here, this bike to take, and then look at this. We gotta get up there, and customer wants the bed frame and what the bed frame is on. Looks like it's a bed itself or the old box springers. Can't really tell from here, but customer wants that down. So that will be it for inside. And then I'll show you outside. Here's all the items outside that we got to remove for the customer. You can see a lot of trash, tires, fence posts. Customer wants to keep the fence post, but here's the riding lawnmower. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and load that up. And then over here, we got, looks like a little chicken coop of some sort that she wants gone, as well as all this yard waste construction debris. So we're going to remove that. Um, along with this, and that'll be it. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, blast these wasps or these hornets away, whatever they are, right down there. All right, I got them pretty good. Let's see how long it takes to affect them. Got one down, two down, three, four. Down for the count. They are out. No more wasps. Got them taken care of. 
All right, we got another one up there, but there's a lot of these yellow jackets or these wasps out here. And I was trying to take down this hammock. You can see there's one flying around right there, but uh, I had to take down another nest in here fighting these yellow jackets. It's no joke. I already got stung by one. Luckily, he didn't get me that good. Uh, but he's right there next to my ladder. I was trying to salvage this paracord. It looks pretty nice, but uh, if I can't get it up there, he's on my ladder. Let's see if I can spray him. Oh, look, they're on my ladder. There we go. Got him. So when I picked up this, uh, when I picked up this ladder, I did not see that little wasp nest on there. So must have been one of those guys that got me. So that's this time of year. So you got to be careful. Oh yeah, that's what the other one was. I didn't spray it though because I'm running low on my hot shot. I only have probably about a few shots left, so. All right, so we just uh, dropped off one load of scrap metal uh, earlier, and then uh, we took one load to the landfill, so we're heading back uh, to Johnson City and we had a job to go look at. A customer called us last week so uh, it was some cardboard material and it sounded like she was price shopping but uh, we told her we'd stop by so we, we went with the intention of uh, getting the job but unfortunately it didn't work out that way. Uh, I'll show you what we you know had to pick up and uh, you can let me know what you would charge in the comments below. 